Hi! This video will present the Genesis Cloud Campaign Connector for Salesforce, an integration that aims to unify these two environments. To be specific, the Campaign Connector synchronizes outbound marketing campaigns and all related information. Let's see how to configure it. The pre-requirement is you have already installed our standard Salesforce Connector for Genesis Cloud and the outbound campaign add-on. So, first of all, search for installed packages in the packaging section and note their presence. After installing the campaign connector, you will need to set it up. Click Configure and it will display a few compulsory fields related to your Genesis Cloud instance. To fill them out, enter Genesis Cloud and go to the Admin section. Click OAuth and select the Softphone Campaign Connector app. Here, copy the client ID and secret and paste them into the Salesforce fields. When you are done, click Check OAuth connection to ensure that the data are correct. If they are, Salesforce will display a green bar with a success message. Afterward, you will need to synchronize Genesis Cloud's queues, scripts and wrap up codes. Click Sync QSW and the connector will synchronize all this information to be used for the campaign's creation. Click Save and you are all set. Let's now see how to create a new campaign. When you generate a new one in Salesforce, an object of type campaign with an associated contact list will be automatically created in Genesis Cloud. Go into the Salesforce Campaigns tab and click New in the upper right. Now fill all required fields – campaign name, start and end date, Genesis Cloud color name and address. Naturally, you need to check the Genesis Cloud Sync box for the campaign connector to work. Check it now, because later you will be unable to edit this value. At this point, you have to fill the campaign-related fields – Genesis Cloud Queue, Script and Wrap-up Code. Start typing into these fields, then click Search from the drop-down menu and a new pop-up window will display the corresponding results, directly retrieved from Genesis Cloud. Select the desired element. When all fields are populated, click Save and Salesforce will dialog with Genesis Cloud. A green bar with a message will confirm the campaign's creation. You can now examine all details in the Related tab. Go to Genesis Cloud and click the Campaign Management tab. You will see the new campaign listed. As one can see, the Dial in Progress column is empty because the contact list is yet unpopulated. You can verify this also in the List Management tab. To populate the list, Go back to the Salesforce Campaign view and scroll down to Campaign Members. You can add both leads and contacts, and all changes will be propagated to the Genesis Cloud contact list. Click Add Leads and select the desired ones from the list in the new pop-up window. Click Next to verify their status parameters and then Submit. The same applies if you click Add Contacts. A green bar with a message will confirm that leads or contacts were successfully added to the campaign. Click View All in the Campaign Members section to review the list. Needless to say, the same leads or contacts will be added in Genesis Cloud. To verify this, you can go back to Genesis Cloud, select your contact list in the List Management tab and export it. The related Excel file will contain all campaign members and their associated information – name, telephone number, status, and so on. Let's now see how to start the campaign. In the left-hand window, you can see Salesforce. Genesis Cloud is on your right. Go in the Campaign Details in Salesforce, check the Active box and save. The Dial in Progress column in Genesis Cloud will be promptly populated and the campaign will be launched. If you are already on queue, you will receive a preview of the first campaign member to be called. Click the phone icon to pick up the record, then click it again in the lower right corner to start the interaction. If you skip a record, the connector will automatically proceed with the following one. As soon as the call is established, Salesforce will automatically display the related campaign member's screen pop and create a task for the interaction. Open it to check all phone call details. When you end the call, select a wrap-up code. You can choose among those we have synchronized while configuring the campaign connector. The contract sold wrap-up code we have selected here signals that this interaction has to be considered closed in Salesforce. In fact, the chart and the status column in the Salesforce Campaign Members section have been updated. The skipped member still presents a send, 
while the one we have contacted displays responded. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed the video.